All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to be doing something literally amazing and literally crazy. I'm going to be utilizing human brain and artificially intelligent brain. And by combination of both, I'm going to try to get sales, conversion and traffic to my Amazon FBA listing. Yes, I'm going to ask ChatGPT multiple questions about my Amazon FBA traffic, listing optimization, conversion, and let's see what results we can get and if that result will be really helpful for you or not. Because as we all know that artificial intelligence is actually more intelligent than human. But on the same side, human needs to control that. So this is basically an experiment. And let's see by the end of this video if this experiment really works or not. And if yes, then it will be a super game changer for you and all of the online sellers out there. Because if this technique works, then that can actually save you a lot of lot of time and actually get the work done within no time. And that work can be done accurately. So let's see by the end of this video what we can get. So as you can see that this is my one week sales. And if I put the filter for past one year, and click on apply so you can see that this is my one year sales you can see that throughout the year i got consistent sales and my sales actually increased in december which was christmas season so around 150k was the revenue and a cool thing about this is that the ppc spend was very less for the lifetime so basically i don't do any magic i only use common sense and use some tips and tricks which i've already explained you in these videos so if you also want to learn all of those tips tricks and strategies you can just go on my amazon playlist on youtube and learn all the tips for free just to get the revenue like this Alright guys, so as you can see here in front of me, I have just opened chat.openai.com and after opening that, you can see that this is the chat GPT chatbot. So here we can ask anything about our Amazon product. So let's just go on Amazon and type for any product like uh, lemon squeezer, lemon squeezer. Okay, so for an instance, let's consider this is my product lemon squeezer. So just go on chat GPT and ask that uh, how can I get traffic on my Amazon listing. Let's just correct the spelling. Okay, so now ChatGPT is typing an answer for me for my question like how can I actually get the traffic on my Amazon FBA listing? Like after this, I will further ask some more questions from ChatGPT because right now I have not told ChatGPT like what is my product. So later I will give some more information to get more out of it. So here you can see that the answer is completed. Like there are several ways to increase traffic to your Amazon FBA listing. Okay, so ChatGPT has basically write down six ways. Number one is optimize your listing. Great. Number two is run Amazon PPC. Great. Uh, I'm not reading all the paragraphs because that will make this video too long. Uh, so I'm just going to be too short. Like optimize listing, run PPC campaign, leverage social media, offer promotion and discounts, and create customer reviews use Amazon influence program. Okay, I must say these six tips are amazing. Like if you actually implement all of these six tips, you can actually start getting traffic on your Amazon FBA listing organically. Great. Okay, so uh, now we need to ask some more questions and then we need to keep asking questions until we find out the exact strategy of uh, getting traffic and getting sales, right? So that question was about how can I get traffic on Amazon FBA listing? Like if I implement all of this strategy, optimize listing, run PPC campaign, leverage social media, offer some promotion and have some reviews, then I can get traffic. Now, what if that traffic don't convert into sales? Like people are visiting my listing and I'm not getting sales. So we are going to ask a second question and how I can increase the conversion rate of my Amazon listing. Like I'm getting traffic, but that traffic is not converting into sales. So now I want chat GPT to tell me like how I can increase the conversion rate. Like for example, if there are 20 people visiting my shop, so how can I make a five out of 20 purchase from my listing? So chat GPT has completed their answer. So, oh no, it's typing right now. So, okay, it's completed. Now there are six points. Here are some strategies you can use to increase the conversion rate of Amazon FBA listing. Number one, optimize your product listing. Great. Ensure your product listing is optimized for the right keywords. We can also ask the right keywords from ChatGPT. Like we can just tell ChatGPT that lemon squeezer is our product. So please find out some high demand, low conversion keyword, which we can use in optimizing the listing. So we can just uh, keep asking, keep asking, keep, keep asking and uh, make our strategy stronger. So we can get more traffic, more sales and more money. So optimize your listing uh, with all of those keywords. Uh, use high quality images to showcase your product. Good. Improve product reviews. Good price competitively okay so now i'm having two questions in my mind like how i can set the price 
and what feature I need to showcase into the images. So now point number four, offer promotion. Okay, so how I can set the price for my Amazon product in order to get more sales. Okay, so let's see what ChatGPT do for me for this question uh, because price is really a competitive thing. For example, if you're selling a product for $50 and your competitor is selling for $45 having a lot of review, so you'll not get any sale. So pricing strategy is too much important. So let's see what ChatGPT give us for the pricing strategy. And then I'll ask ChatGPT like how I can showcase the main point or main key feature of my product into my listing images. All right, so regarding the price, ChatGPT is telling us that setting the right price for your Amazon product is essential to increase sale. That is 100% true. Like if you don't set the right price, you'll not get sales. So I think ChatGPT knows more than me about the Amazon. So here are some strategies you can use to set the price, okay? Number one, research a competition. Oh my God. Research a competition prices and see what price point they are offering their product. This will help you determine a competitive price point for your product. Good. Consider your target market. Offer promotion. Use dynamic pricing. Okay. I think this is insane. Like after reading these five points, I think nothing is left. Like do the competition research. For example, every seller is selling for $20. You can just sell for $19 and you can just offer a promotion for $1 off. That will be 19 cross 18 strike through price. And then you can just use dynamic pricing. Like someday you can increase the price. Someday you can decrease the price. Monitor your price and then it will be a great pricing strategy for you. So as you can see that in second question, ChatGPT told me that I need to make the price competitive. And then in the third question, ChatGPT uh, told me that how I can make the price competitive. All right, so now I know how to increase traffic, how to increase conversion, how to set the price. Now the third and last question, which is how can I showcase the main feature of my product, lemon squeezer, in my Amazon listing. So this is the final question. If ChatGPT give me the right answer of this question, then I can just uh, make a very good strategy for this product and I can just get traffic, conversion, sales, good price, profit. I can just explain each and everything about my product. I can just showcase every quality and feature of my product into the listing, optimization, images, and the content. Okay, so the five points has been completed. Let's read it. I'm super excited to read this point. Number one, use high quality images, okay? Include multiple high quality images that clearly show the main feature of your lemon squeezer, okay? Use images from different angles, oh ho ho ho. And in use to give customer a better understanding of your product, great. Highlight the feature in the product title. Use product title to highlight the main feature of your lemon squeezer. For example, stainless steel lemon squeezer, easy to use and clean, oh my God. Number three, Use bullet point to describe the feature. Use bullet point to list the main feature of your lemon squeezer. Make sure to highlight the most important features such as easy to clean, durable stainless steel construction and ergonomic design for comfortable use. Great. Point number four, provide detailed product description. Use the product description to provide more detail about the main feature of a lemon squeezer. Be sure to include how it works, what material it was made and how it can benefit the customer. Okay, so I can just keep asking more questions to make my point more clear, but I think at this point, my all of the points are clear. Like, I know how to get traffic, I know how to increase conversion rate, I know how to showcase a feature of my product into the images and listing, like how it works, what material it is, how we can clean this, what are the main feature, and I know how to set the price. By following all of these four points, like, there are multiple five points in the four points, so there will be 20 points. If you follow these 20 points, you can just keep asking some more questions about your product in depth, like about the material of your product, about the feedback of your product, about getting reviews of your product. So if you just start reading all of those 20 points and start implementing those, so I'm sure you'll be able to make your product successful. Like if you go to the point number one, and you can see that in point number one, ChatGPT has told us like leverage social media, Use social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok to uh, get the traffic. Okay, so we can just ask ChatGPT like to tell us the best strategy to bring traffic from social media to our Amazon FBA listing. Like I can just show you an example. Okay, please tell me some best hash 
tags for Instagram for my lemon squeezer products so if you ask the question if you keep asking question and after that answer for example chat gpt tell you five points so you can just find out 25 questions from those five points and you can just keep asking and you can just keep clearing your concept about that here you can see that chat gpt has just generated some best hashtag for my uh, instagram for my product like if i start posting some content about my product on instagram uh, with the amazon attribution link so if i use these hashtag hashtag lemon squeezer citrus juicer lemon juicer or fresh juice lemon press so if I use these keyword so I can just get the traffic from Instagram as well so if I ask this question individually for every platform for TikTok for Pinterest for Google for YouTube then chat GPT is surely gonna guide me about each and every platform so I need to keep asking I need to keep implementing what chat GPT is telling me because it's 80% right I know so if you follow this strategy if you follow all of these uh, things which ChatGPT uh, tell you in this uh, chat and if you implement all of that point then I'm sure you will start getting traffic you will start getting sales you will start getting conversion and if at some point you think that you are getting traffic but not conversion you are getting conversion but not profit you are getting profit but your uh, competitor are getting more sales than you so you can just basically define the whole scenario to ChatGPT like I'm getting 300 sales my competitor is getting 500 sales so what can I do to increase my sale to 500? So ChatGPT is gonna analyze all of the things for you and tell you a strategy like what you can actually do to get the sales more than your competitor. So I must say this is basically a great thing that can save a lot of your time and that can provide you an accurate information. So if you know how to use ChatGPT correctly, you can actually boom your Amazon FBA sale, boom your Shopify sale, Etsy sale, and you can just grow your any online business from this. So I know by the end of this video, you were amazed like me. And after watching this video, you're gonna start using ChatGPT for your Amazon FBA business and all of the online businesses. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you find my content really informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in future. Let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.